All right, how did your sister come to be associated with Sonny Corinthos? Sonny runs one criminal empire. My father used to run the other. The Zakaras and Corinthos, they've always, I don't know, been aware of each other. And more specifically than that, I guess Sonny and Claudia met in a bar one night. After Claudia had returned home from Italy, she'd been living there for a while. Okay. Okay, that's good. That sounded really good. Very, very straightforward. Um, how would you characterize their relationship? Train wreck. Can you elaborate on that? <sighs> All right, Sonny and Claudia, they were no love match. This whole relationship, Claudia was brokered into a business deal by my father, like a flock of sheep in a dowry exchange. And from that glorious start, it just went all downhill from there. I'd... Sonny made her life a living hell. She could never get her footing because he was always keeping her off balance. And Sonny used her for, for sex, for appearances, to make himself look good. And you know what? The man should fry for making her feel like a prisoner in her own damn home. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna stop you right there before you totally go off the rails. I would advise against that kind of delivery in the courtroom, all right? got so much invested in this trial. You know, you want everything from it. You want justice for your sister and closure for yourself. Put Sonny away forever. I'm just really worried that you're gonna be horribly disappointed. Yeah, I was too at first. I, I never thought that Sonny would actually pay the consequences, but now I'm actually starting to hope. Claudia ever had a nice, carefree moment like this with Sonny? <laughs> you care to join me here for a minute? I'm sorry. I, look, I know I'm not the best company right now, so if you want to split, I won't be offended. Okay, that's okay. I look like I'm going anywhere. <laughs> look, if this is how you come today, then so be it. I just can't stop obsessing about how... I did nothing. Well, for months, Sonny systematically broke Claudia down, and I didn't even stop him. Well, as I recall, she didn't want you to. Right? I mean, for whatever it was worth, she wanted to be in that marriage. Yeah. I guess what matters is karma, right? Well, the best thing about it is it always ends up catching up with you. Mm -hmm. So Sonny's gonna be sitting in that cell claustrophobic and bipolar while I systematically break him down and take away everything that used to be his. I, um, there's a real fine line here between wanting justice and a revenge obsession. And, you know, if you cross that line, you come dangerously close to becoming the thing that you're trying to destroy. And hearing you talk right now, I think you're pretty close to crossing that line. Did Claudia ever tell you she was unhappy in her marriage? It was worse than that. She was tortured. She... I was always being played by Sonny like an instrument. She, he always kept her off balance. Did she throw a mob party for Sonny? What? A mob party. A gathering where local heads get together and tribute for Sonny Corinthos. That question wasn't on the list. Unfortunately, the other side doesn't have to adhere to our guidelines. You need to be prepared to answer things that are unanticipated. Now, isn't it true that Claudia proudly took her place at Sonny's side to represent the merger of two criminal enterprises as if they were royalty? What the hell does that have to do with Sonny murdering my I'm sister? I'm asking the questions, Mr. Zakara, but I can move on. Did Claudia play a role in the shooting of Michael Corinthos? That's not what this trial's about. And isn't it true that she lied to Mr. Corinthos about her culpability the entire time they were married? So that makes it okay for him to murder her? What I'm suggesting is that if there's a victim here, it's Sonny Corinthos. Oh, you sanctimonious bitch! Sonny Corinthos is a monster who disposed of my sister like she's a rabid dog. Don't you dare ever say that she deserved that. As long as I know.